Okay, you might want to turn the lights up for the next story because in tonight's Brady Bunch, we meet Australia's ghost hunters, Brady. Ah, uh, thanks, Trace. Yes, not everyone believes in ghosts, but the fact is, plenty do. And there are now a number of companies actively investigating those strange happenings when the sun goes down. <laughs> This is a big one, Clarkfield. We know how big this place is. We want you to grab the rods, head out and do your baseline reading. Digital thermometers, night vision equipment, digital cameras, night vision scopes. When the sun goes down, they come out. Mm. Oh, what was it? Right here. Mm -hmm. oh, Shadowy figures going behind the pool table. That's creepy. Wow. On any night around Australia, teams of investigators are searching for paranormal activity. We haven't been able to find the answers to a lot of things that we've found. A film crew and investigators from the company Haunted Australia have set up again at the old pub at Clarkfield, said to be one of the most haunted places in the country. And the worst thing is you can't explain it. The night before, the team had an encounter. But this room is freezing. Did you hear that? No, no, I didn't hear Did you hear something move behind me? Yeah, yeah, I thought that was you. No, no, it was right. Tonight there. they're back again. Oh, I was filming the guys. You're not keen to come down, no, here, are you? No, I'm really. Not, yeah, I'm yeah? sort of feel a little bit spooked about it. What there was? was um, what was the feeling? I don't know. There was someone flitting around behind us. It was hairs on the back of the neck standing up. A hundred kilometres away. The company Ghost Hunters is working with the National Trust in the watch house at the old Melbourne jail. What it actually shows is this shadowy figure um, which appeared outside one of the doorways. The eerie face and figure was picked up in one frame of a digital camera. That was nothing though compared to a few nights earlier when they captured this apparition of a woman standing at the top of the stairs in an empty house down the road. Yeah, left scratch in your head. Team leader Darren Doan says he's... I'm an open-minded sceptic. ...and finds 97% of his work can be explained, but... The 3% fascinating. It really is. Like the night he had a close encounter. I was hit square in the face and put on my backside. There was a chunk out of my nose. And there was and no one there? There was no one there. No one there in front of me at all. I started saying the Lord's Prayer and I put the Bible up to the, where the noises were coming from and they ceased. But we didn't get much sleep that night. Strange things have been happening in Catherine and Margaret's Sydney townhouse. Lots of banging, um, lights flickering on and off, things moving on the table. They've called in psychic Kara Falau Maloa. There's a little boy here. He's looking for his mother, he says. And she's found there's uninvited guests in the house. When I come into this room, I pick up an old lady. She's connected to this place. Um, she's giving me, 19, like, 1953. In the back bedroom, she finds yet another entity. Something just isn't right about underneath. I'm feeling quite shaky and... Over here. Underneath the house, there's something underneath the house. Kara then goes about to cleanse the house. And it scared the living bejeebas out of me. No such luck at Clarkfield, where publican like Brendan recently saw the tapestry moving on its own. I come into the kitchen, I grab me steak knife. I come back out and I said, come out, you buggers. <laughs> it's said a Chinese gold miner was hanged here last century. We'll put up the noose and it's, we'll use it as what's called a trigger object and hopefully we'll trigger some response of some kind. And then, a little later... The whole camera, while you guys moved. were talking, has been moving around that way and the audio is right next to it. Yeah. There's nobody up there. And there's nobody there. All of which made me feel a little uncomfortable at the watch house. 
two-way two radio. radio. Thank you very much. Then you won't be alone because we'll... You'll come back. We'll be promise. <laughs> Inside a padded cell which once housed violent, disturbed prisoners, we've set up an infrared camera. Then we turned the jail lights out and the crew and team from Ghost Hunters went outside. I uh, don't normally get nervous, <laughs> but uh, my heart is racing now. <laughs> Leaving me inside. I just heard a noise. The banging on the wall then. I'm glad you're back. I didn't like that at all. I, could, I heard a noise. I definitely heard a noise. There was a noise in the middle of the wall over there. So you blacks were next door, weren't you, shutting the door? We were actually outside. Some reporters do war zones. <laughs> I do ghost stories. I think it'd be safer in a war zone, actually, just quietly. <laughs> Oh, the things you do. And Trace, I definitely heard something. You've been hearing things for years. True, but this was something and it was in there with me. I know it was. Do you think? I've had the nightlight on every night in the bedroom <laughs> oh, since. Oh, bless. Poor baby. <laughs> See you next week. Thanks, Trace. Thanks, Good on Trace. You.